Okay, this is a boiler for heating a radiant heat system. We've got, uh, this is by Knight Lockenvar, and uh, we also have our domestic hot water running off of this. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to change the water temperature for the system heat or for domestic water heat. Um, it is explained in the manual, but it's a little difficult to follow and find. So this is how you would change the temperature going out for the system. You first click on the button to the right that says enter. It just gets everything to kind of wake up and then hold the button on the left, which is for menu or exit. We're holding that down for at least five seconds. And now we can enter a menu code. We're going to install the, uh, I'm sorry, um, enter the installer code, which in the manual says 5309. So we'll hold this down for five seconds again to get our menu code option back. These arrows are toggle switches. This digit is flashing, so that's the one we're choosing um, to change. It's 5309. We'll have to get back to it. Toggling up to make the last digit nine. You have to think backwards here. Okay, and the first digit is five. Okay, five, three, zero, nine, enter. When you do so, you can tell it's confirming you're now in installer code. Lots of options here. We're going to use the toggle switch to go down to, uh, I'll just show you some of these other things that are available, okay? Um, we're going into, you could either go into um, general, let's see, temperature settings, enter, and change the system set point that way. If you wanted to change the system set point, you hit enter, shows you what it currently is. If you wanna to toggle up and down from where that is, you can see it's 140. If you want to go back to someplace else on the menu, click menu, toggle up or down. Okay, we have other options. We're going to go back. Uh, I'd like to show you the do domestic hot water settings are separate from the system heat settings if you have it set up for radiant heat and hot water, so we'll hit enter for DHW, domestic hot water settings, there's several. Um, if we press enter, we can see what the temperature is set for currently, uh, the set point for the domestic water tank. So let's just say we wanted to change that. Make sure that you hit enter after doing so. Okay, there's, you'll hear a little click, you can tell it electronically just reset that. And now we're flashing here, so we're gonna to toggle to another setting within domestic hot water. Here's, this would be domestic hot water boiler set point. Let's say we wanna change that. Same thing, you toggle until you reach whatever your new setting is that you want. Be sure and hit enter or it will not take effect. You hear a little click, okay? And so you go through, uh, hitting menu to go back one step change anything else in here you might want to change. Lots of options, it's in the manual, but um, it's not the same as seeing someone do it. So all of those things have taken effect now. We're gonna go ahead and hit enter one more time. Um, okay, I actually didn't need to do that. We're already, everything's already set on the individual settings as we put them in. So uh, at this point, we can exit. Okay, the boiler is off because we were in installer mode. So now you need to go ahead and turn it back on. Hold the button down and everything will um, start up again when you, okay, ours is off because there's no call for heat right now. It's on standby instead of off. Um, you should see that uh, it, it should go from off setting to standby. There's no call for heat, that's why there's um, no sound of the boiler, it's not actually turning on, but it's ready to turn on as soon as radiant heat system needs more heat or the hot water tank needs more heat.